Angel was indeed the name of the youngest daughter found in the attic. Long neck Angel then? Okay, yeah. Oh! This is a police sketch of the murderer based on Tina's description. Oh no, it's not Flora? Okay, so let's see how this freaking face. Urban Spook Analog Horror. A lot of you guys told me to finish his analog horror series. You know, the one with the human painting where a serial killer killed an actual person and used his human teeth for the painting. Yeah, that's the one. You guys loved it for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? So as you can tell, four different videos. We're gonna react to them all. All of these videos are by Urban Spook, so shout out to you, bro. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description for you guys to so check it out. But I don't know, you guys, I don't know what else to say. So let's go. All right, then first video. Analog Horror, The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse, man, all right. Viewer discretion is advised. The Lighthouse. I never been to one, so I don't know. Four weeks ago, the police officer named Bill Collins went missing along with his wife and two daughters. <laughs> Oh, it's the killer. Bill had previously discovered this painting on in his in his home. Clueless to how it could have ended up in there. Oh, God, the zoom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is a self-portrait of the killer, I guess. While searching Bill's house, uh, the police found one of his daughters <gasps> from the ceiling. Okay, well, I probably have to blur that part. She was only two months. Whoa! Okay, so it definitely wasn't her choice. The Collins family's uh, car was found 12 days later in by the ocean side. Dude, this guy must be have superpowers. Uh, in the car, the uh, the police found a painting titled Long Neck Something. Angel was indeed the name of the youngest daughter found in the attic. Long Neck Angel then? Okay, yeah. Oh! Why she built like an egg? <laughs> uh, the search would lead to an old lighthouse standing just a few miles away from the something. The lighthouse hadn't been in use for several years. Ooh. On the door to the lighthouse, the an abstract face was painting in... Uh, painted in red face was it used with actual blood this is the painting uh yeah definitely something you see in a nightmare oh did it move for a sec inside the charred a corpse of a missing teenager named daniel williams was found oh dude he got burnt uh police later found uh proceeded into the tunnels under the lighthouse there's tunnels too? What the? Uh, here the police uh, would find two more corpses belonging to Jennifer uh, White and her daughter Lisa White. They had been missing for seven months. Lastly, the police found a moist barrel emitting a foul stench. That was a dad! The barrel was filled with mangled meat and bones. Oh, never mind. Tests later showed that it belonged to the rest of the Collins! Collins family? Okay, it was. <laughs> the test also showed extreme volumes of em empathime. Photos of the Cullen family moments before death was scattered around the barrel. Dude, oh my god, here are the photos. So, so they literally didn't do anything? Okay, maybe they weren't normal, a normal family. <laughs> oh my god, that would look stupid. <laughs> Lastly, there was a fourth photo depicting, uh, depicting a unmarked face. Uh. Quit looking at me. Freaking ugly as hell. Oh, okay, so this one was a family that was murdered brutally in a lighthouse. But it's just a painting, though. You guys see the faces? Some of them are pretty funny, low-key. I know that might sound messed up, but come on. It's not real, guys. It's not real. Which is actually based on a true story. Oh, God. Okay, next video. Analog horror in the walls. They're in the walls now? Nah. Oh, Corey Beck, age 11. Margaret Beck, age 11. 10 days ago, the Beck twins went missing. Alright, twins. Uh oh. Uh, five days later, their bodies were discovered inside an abandoned paper mill factory. How the heck did they even get there in the first place? However, the state of the bodies were found in a gruesome condition. Oh, okay, so they're gonna use like drawings to show. <gasps> Only the upper body of Margaret and the lower body of Corey could be located. No, don't tell me they used both of their corpses to fuse into one! I knew it! The twins' body have been sewn together in a sloppy manner. Bro, imagine still being alive for that. The rest of their bodies have still not been. F Ooh. Some sick head twisted mind guy must use it for his own time or whatever. I don't know. Margaret's neck and jaw has been broken in several places. E looks like they stopped on Margaret, dude. A clay brick had been vi violently been shoved down her. You know how 
freaking bro oh my the word meat had been written on the brick it was like eat the meat margaret a brick <laughs> it's a freaking brick cory's uh gen i've been removed by no oh that's a man's worst nightmare dude uh one week before their disappearance cory had been dared by two of his friends and spent an hour in a remote cabin near something Okay, so they, they, they've been taken to a cra cabin, and that's where they died eventually. Allegedly, Corey went inside alone with his digital camera while his friend waited outside. Ooh, so are we, we going to get some pictures? After just four minutes, Corey ran out screaming that he had seen a face. According to his friends, Corey's left arm was badly bruised. Oh, okay, that was torn away or apart. While investigating the cabin, police found a wardrobe connected to a crawl space inside the walls. Corey's camera has, uh, has was found on the floor inside the open uh, inside this open wall cavity. Okay, uh, I can't talk right now, guys. This is what was on the camera. Okay, so they just found the camera in the walls, and he took pictures. Um, what am I looking at? A crevice? What's inside, dude? Or oh, is he gonna take a picture of the face? Let's see this freaking. Ooh! Dude, imagine seeing this though by yourself in the tunnels. And and he or it was able to grab uh, his left arm, dude. This face is believed to be connected to the disappearance of Corey and Margaret Beck. If you recognize this person, please contact. Don't call that number, guys. Is that it? Oh, thank you. I kid you not, man, bro. I'm like traumatized from all the jump scares, dude. I used to have my volume all the way to the max, but then that would kind of like, you know, make me go deaf. So I put it at a reasonable high volume, but not to the point where I would lose hearing, you know? In other words, I'm not a b All right then. Analog horror, the clue. The clue? Like blues clues? Uh, warning something. Private investigator Sean Kane had been helping police to locate victims connected to the several paintings. The last day body, no, the last body he found before his disappearance was the body of Tom Harris. Oh, he disappeared? Bro, bro got bodied already. Uh, uh, the killer had climbed to the drain pipe up to the third floor and entered Tom's apartment through his bedroom window. What is he, Spider-Man? In the living room, a pile of hardened candle wax was found. Oh God, that's big, big. I thought that was a Christmas tree. Merry Christmas, guys. Uh, inside this pile of wax was the body of Tom Harris. The cause of death was suffocation from the wax. How did, how did one was, how was one able to do that? Tom's arms and eyelids have been cut off. Oh, that's okay. I was gonna say like, dude, he could have literally like tried to scheme. A third arm could be found inside the pile of wax. What the? From who? We still do not know who this arm belongs to. Oh, uh, Tom Harris. Oh. Hey, how did he suffocate? His nose was right there out. <laughs> One week later, investigator Sean went missing from his home. Neighbors of Sean notified police after hearing his dog bark for over nine hours. Okay, so it was just a complaint like, hey, bro, your dog is so loud, but they don't know the truth. Inside, police found a horrid scene. <gasps> don't tell me he took the dog's leg have been all broken. No! Although dehydrated and suffering, she was still alive. Okay, but dude, for nine hours not being a move and just calling for help. Blood trails could be found leading from the bedroom to the kitchen. The only clue police could find was that Sean seemed to have deliberately painted the number two on the door frame with his own blood. Uh oh. Sean, why? Inside Sean's bedroom, police found a new title painting clearly resembling Sean. Okay, let's see. Let's see the sicko. This is a painting in its title. What's with all these paintings, by the way? The man in the pipes. Oh, dude, that's, so that's supposed to be him? But pipes? 
Uh, he kind of looks like one of those, um, the trees that has the faces. I forgot from where I, where I watched it, but, uh, the perpetrator had entered Sean's house through the basement. Luckily, Sean had a surveillance camera installed just a few days earlier. Oh, it's okay, so someone broke in. <coughs> Excuse me. Even though the camera had been destroyed, it still caught a photo of the perpetrator. Is it, is it, um, the guy in the painting? You know, the red guy? This is the photo. Oh, no, bro. Do you see his mouth? There's another mouth inside. Okay, so clearly this thing is not human. Or maybe he was wearing a mask. No, 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 not human, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Girls be like, don't take a picture when I'm not ready. <laughs> this is how they look like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was a joke. Oh, and that was it? Okay. Okay, last video. Analog Horror Witness. Warning, this video contains violent and disturbing content. You guys have been warned. Uh, three days ago, T Tina Rosenberg was reported missing along with her boyfriend and a young younger sister. Tina, what's up, girl? Her boyfriend, ja oh god, never mind. Her ja uh, boyfriend, Jack Stryker, wanted to take Tina on a South Coast road trip for her 20th birthday. Okay. Uh, Flora Rosenberg, the youngest sister of Tina, was also invited for this road trip. Cool. I mean, not cool anymore because they, they all died. Had to drunk the sister, dude. Duh, I was like, yak. Uh, Jack, Tina, and Flora. Okay. Jack built like an egg, but it's okay. Jack's car was found two days ago in the woods. In the woods? There were signs of struggle inside the car. Oh, no. It's a serial killer, dude. There was also a painting. Okay, so obviously it's the same guy because of the painting. Flower face, Flora. Oh, no. So that was the, the little girl, right? Yeah, because the big girl was Tina. While searching the car, police heard screaming from deeper within the wood. So they're still alive? Police followed the screams until they found a grisly sight. Oh, okay, let's see. Tina was found tied to a tree with her feet and arms caught up. Oh, she was still alive and conscious. The mutilated corpse of Flora Rosenberg could also be located. Oh no, so she dead. Her head was being, no, her head has been smashed. Wait, no. <gasps> that looks really, ugh. Okay, first let's go back. Her head has been smashed in with a hammer. Oh, okay, I did not see the last part. Okay, but this is fake, guys, okay? Remember that. That ain't real. Uh, Tina told the police that the murderer was still around somewhere. However, no one could be found. I hope they catch this guy, dude. After escorting Tina from the scene, the police returned to the car and found another painting. I was going to say, how are you going to escort? She literally doesn't have arms and legs, but they carried her. The painting had just been put there. Uh, the title Long Jack has been or had hastily been written on its back Long Jack why this is the painting uh, What's that thing behind him it looks like a tail Jack has still not been found oh no, it's obsessed with Jack no uh, in Tina's own words, this is what happened that night. Okay, Tina, you describe what happened. Oh, is it like an audio clip? Nope. Uh, I remember waking up in a car. Jack was gone and I could hear someone approaching. Next thing I remember, I was tied to that tree I was injected with something I could only hear my sister screaming she was screaming for our mom oh no oh Flora Flora dead dude 
I don't know. I remember whispering. And her face. Whose face? Flora? Oh, God. Her face. It was Flora. This is a police sketch of the murderer based on Tina's description. Oh, no, it's not Flora? Okay, so let's see how this freaking face. Dude, big eyes, big pupils. Looks like she hasn't eaten for days. Hair, balding. Oh, no, dude. Imagine seeing that. Knowing that you're helpless or hopeless. Oh, yeah, helpless too. And oh, but yeah, dude, like being in Tina's shoes, witnessing what's going around you, knowing that you're probably gonna die or you're, you're gonna die, but before you die, you see that murderer. And that is the last thing you see. Not gonna lie, I probably would just start crying. I'll be like, ah! But we're done. Bye.